Hello and good morning, Southern. Um, my name is Zach and today I'm doing an Instagram takeover. Um, today is special because today is also giving day. Um, so we're going to give you what it looks like to be a student here at Southern during giving day. Um, so join me, stay tuned, and we have so much planned for today. All right, we are now ready for our day. We had breakfast and we are ready. Um, today, starting at 7.30, going to 8.15 is the giving day kickoff. Um, so I'm taking a couple friends of mine and we're gonna go up and see what that's all about. All right, good morning, guys. Um, we're out here. Woo! I don't wanna be here. All right. <laughs> wow, look at the sun, sunrise. Giving days in the air. Tell us. <laughs> wow, this is gorgeous. If you guys have any questions throughout the day um, or want to get to know a little bit more about me, about giving day, about being a finance major or being a political science minor or being an engaged or whatever it may be, um, please ask your questions here and I'm gonna answer them throughout the day. So stay tuned and I'm super excited to do this day with you guys. Okay, so as you guys can see, we just got done with my first class and I'm here with my professor. Um, could you please introduce yourself? My name is Dr. Sunia Fofoka and I teach here at the School of Business for this uh, class Supply Chain and Operations Management. Amazing. So why is this class important for business students to take? You know, in the world we live in today, we are more interconnected, uh, perhaps now more than we've ever been. The learning of Supply Chain Management allows students to source resources for their company and also give, uh, produce their goods or transform those resources into finished products and services, and then return them back into customers. But from the source supplier to the company, all the way to the customers, learning all of these helps them become more efficient and effective in the way they do their jobs. Amazing. So as you guys know, today is giving day. Um, I'm a business student and you're a business professor. Um, do you have anything you would like to say? Yes, I would like to say to give to Southern Advantage University. Um, give to the School of Business at Southern Adventist University. Over here, we are focused on training leaders that have values that are biblically based in order for them to make an impact for God in the business world. Your giving helps us support that mission. Not only that, but it will be a star in your crown someday when the Lord returns. You're not only blessing your students with your funds, but you're allowing them to work out initiatives that has a ripple effect right across the business world not only for the success of our students career-wise, but for the kingdom, which we are all working to impact others for. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so I just got done with my second class of the day. Um, it was World of Missions, and I am here with my professor. Um, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Ellie Gratero. I've been here at Southern for the past four years in School of Religion. Amazing. So um, I just we just got done with World Missions. So could you maybe tell people what World Missions is about and why they should take it? Yeah, this is a class where it presents some strategies from a historical, philosophical, and even practical way to become effective missionaries right here in North America, in our homeland and overseas. Amazing. Um, so today is Giving Day and you work for the religion department. Right. Um, what is the reason that people should give to the religion department today? Well, listen, everything about the Seventh-day Adventist Church is about missions. And that's exactly what we do right here in School of Religion. We train missionaries and you are one of them. So uh, Salvation Sack is free, mm. but ministry is very expensive. Mm. All right, everyone, we are here at our special guest interview. Um, so I'm super excited about this. And our special guest today is... 
President Shaw. Hey, how are you doing, Zach? Hey, you doing okay today? I am doing good. Good, Thank good, you. good. Thank you. You're, you're going to drive me crazy today, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, let's see sir. what we can do. Let's do it. All right. For our first question today is last year's, what is last year's Giving Day donor goal? You're talking about last year, right? Last year, yeah. What was the last year's uh, Giving Day? Man, I think it was around uh, 1,200. Hey, is that, that is that good. Greg, okay. Yeah. So, so what did I win? So the way we're doing this is every question you win, you get twenty dollars towards uh, a goal this year. Oh, um, that's awesome. Yeah. So yeah. we just won twenty bucks. Okay, All that's right. that's really good. So we're gonna we're gonna keep track here and uh, see how it goes. Okay. All right. All right. So Next question. Second question: How much was raised during last year's Giving Day? Uh, I don't know the. In uh, exact total, but it seems like it was a half a million dollars or close to that. That is correct. Is, is, that, is that close enough? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay, that's good. Great. All right, so we are at now forty dollars. Forty dollars. Okay, I'm, I'm happy about that. Yeah. Okay, so our next question is we're at forty dollars now. So our next question for sixty bucks. Um, this year, Giving Day is doing so many different things on campus. So name three of the things that they are doing this year. Okay, these, these seem to be getting harder and harder. This is yeah. like Jeopardy, right? Yeah, Jack? exactly. Okay, so three. Uh, I think it's the the golf cart rides. I see a sign right here, so uh -huh. I think that's one thing that we're doing. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I know we're going to be doing a finale because I think I've got a little part of that. Yes. Oh and, my goodness. Yes. And I think there's a convocation going on. Uh huh. So maybe that's three. So so uh, that's sixty dollars, right? Yeah, that's sixty bucks. Right. My next question is, which building is completely donated on campus well <clears throat> I know when I got here a couple of years ago we dedicated the new uh, beats uh, Center for student life so yeah. uh, the beats Center I think is the answer to that is that correct yeah yeah that's correct all right so we're up to 80 we're up to 80 ah, this is awesome this is fun bucks. all right bucks. all right so now we're gonna go for the big 100 the big 100 so next question all right when was Giving Day last year? What were the dates of Giving Day? Uh, I know it's in April. Yeah. I'm just going to make a guess because I have no idea. Okay. I, I'm going to say April 7 and 8. Okay, that's like partially correct. Oh, partially. Uh, 8 what? and 9. Is it 8 no, and it's, uh, it's, 6 uh, and 7? It's or? 6 and 7. But oh. you know what? You're going to give me partial credit? I think I'll give you that one. Okay. I think I'll give that, you that That's what faculty should do for students. Yeah. Give them partial <laughs> credit. <laughs> All right. Our next one, our next question. So this year, you're having your grand finale. What is happening during the grand finale? Well, I'm hoping it may or may not happen, but if we get to 1,500 donors, mm -hmm. I'm gonna rappel off of Wright Hall, and I'm deathly afraid of heights. Oh, really? So uh, if we get to 1,499, I don't get to go over, <laughs> but if we get to 1,500, I'm gonna make the plunge. Okay, so you guys heard that. We have to get to 1,500 donors. 1500 for him to repel off right hall that is crazy have you been training by the way for this you know i did a little bit of training yesterday but <laughs> it uh i was deathly afraid yesterday and i know i will be on friday too <laughs> all right well i am excited and hoping hoping that we get our 1500 donors okay so that was now 120 we just answered all those questions we've got them all correct so we're now at 120 dollars well you did give me partial credit well, so that's true. yeah th thank you for that Zach. Yeah, i appreciate it all right, so our next question, we're going to be doing... Hold it, we got, we got a crowd going oh, by here. Yes. <laughs> Who, that's, a, that's a crazy crowd right that here, is, isn't it? Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> All right, so um, our next question has to do with some percentages here. So I heard you like math trivia. I, I like math. We'll like see math. if we can do the... We, we'll see if we can do the percentages. Okay, so this has to do with tuition and the percentages covered by giving day. So what is the percentage of your tuition that is covered by donors? Student tuition covered by donors. So I, I think this is a really important statistic because yeah. all of our students, uh, their tuition, I believe 20% of all of the tuition is covered by donors. Yeah. Is that is that approximately right? Yeah, that's that correct. Okay. That's correct, yep. So, and, and so I just want to give a big shout out to all the donors out there yeah. because they they help our students get a great education right here at Southern. Mm. So thank you for that, donors. <laughs> okay, so our question is, who is the first alum to serve as president at Southern? Uh, let me think about that a little yeah. bit. You know, I'm the 27th president. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm the only president that actually graduated from Southern Adventist University. Wow. And it's just uh, a wonderful pleasure and uh, it's a great benefit for me to be back on the campus that I graduated from. So the answer is? Uh, I would say Ken Shaw. <laughs> is, that, is that right? That is correct. That is absolutely correct. Okay, so that is, we are now at $160. Um, so I have a question here. So um, last year, we decided that our, we, we determined that our goal was 1,200 donors. Now this year, we said it's 1,500 donors. So um, this is a math question for you. What is the number of increases from last year donor base to this year donor base? Well, well, I, I, well, that's 300. Yeah. So, so uh, I hope I did that. Uh, yeah. Did the math right. <laughs> Correct. Okay. So we are now at 180 dollars. Okay. 180 dollars. We're going to final jeopardy now. Yeah. This is it. This, okay. This is it. So our last question for Ma make it easy. Okay. 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 Go. For 200 dollars. So um, every year at the end of the year there is a student association event. Okay. Um, student association event where the campus comes together and we celebrate um, campus life. Oh, we have some people going by here. Hey! Um, so every year we have this event and it's amazing film is film production and but we, recap we got of our year. We passing his own. Oh. oh, I think Mr. Lenski's back there. Oh, he's, he's trying to get in on the video. <laughs> okay, so um, what is the name of this event? So. Uh, so it's an essay it, event at the end of the year that recaps so the year. Is it the uh, Strawberry Festival? Yes, is that right? That is correct. Hey, congratulations. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we now are at $200. And this is the end of our Q&A. Thank you so much, President Sean, for coming out. Oh, it's out. my pleasure. Thanks uh, for not uh, driving off the cliff here yeah. or anything like that. So uh, we're just doing it, right? Yeah. Yeah, on Giving Day. This Absolutely. is awesome. Absolutely. This is what we're doing. So. Remember guys, 1,500 donors, you will see our president repelling off of Wright Hall. How exciting. So let's get there. Thank you guys for playing along with me and President Shaw through a Q&A on the golf cart and the promenade. Um, I am now here at the Beach Center um, and we have a really cool giving day thing going on at the Beach Center. We have our own giving day carnival. So let's take a look. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, I am here at work today um, in the essay office and with me now is our essay president, Kenneth. Um, so Kenneth has a pretty cool announcement about tomorrow at Convo. Yes guys, come to Giving Day Convo tomorrow. We're going to meet with a business owner in the area. He owns 27 Ace Hardwares. But what's really cool is after, everyone's going to get popsicles. So, oh, you're missing out. That's incredible. That's incredible. Thank you, Kenneth. Okay, so I just got done with my third class of the day, American Foreign Policy, and I'm here with my professor. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Michael Weissmeyer. I'm a professor here in the History and Political Studies Department and also a chair of the department this year. Amazing. Um, so with this class, American Foreign Policy, um, I'm a political science minor. That's why I'm taking it. Um, why should students be taking this class? American Foreign Policy is really affects so much of our lives and I think you probably have learned that already from taking Definitely. the class as yeah. to you know we may not always think about that but just all of our technology so much of how we what we buy mm. how we what we eat all of that is really affected by the foreign policy decisions and just our overall security and safety in the world absolutely so with today being giving day why should people donate to the history and political studies department this year, our, our main project is to help raise money for framing the World War I posters that we have in our main classroom. So if any is, anyone's taken a history class probably over the last 40 years, you'll recognize, remember seeing the World War I posters that mm -hmm. are in our classroom. And then just in general to support our department, which really helps students, uh, whether they're a history major or not, in preparing them for being critical thinkers in the world and helping understand how the world got to be the way it is and how to go make a change in the future. Thank you.
So I just got done with my last class of the day, international business, um, and I'm here with my professor from that class. So um, this is my professor. Would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Professor Ob. All right. I teach international business. Mm -hmm. Also teach some finance classes. So um, why is international business important for students to take? I think international business is important because it helps us not only to understand the global perspective on business, but it also gives us an opportunity to use business as a way to sharing the gospel as what we would call business's mission. Thank you. So as we know, today is Giving Day. Um, so Professor Obi, why should people give to the School of Business? Well, our project is a ticker announcement uh, news display that's going to be in the foyer of our new School of Business. Mm. And it'll be a way in which we can communicate not just with students, but with anybody who's visiting the School of Business. We really would like to have you support our $30,000 project for this amazing display. Thank you. All right, I just finished my last class of the day, which was international business. Um, and like always, my Wednesdays are super full of classes, but um, we're done. And now we're kind of onto our extracurricular part of the day. So you're gonna be seeing um, me in essay events as well as um, engage in events. But before we kind of move on, I wanna know what are some of your favorite classes that you've been taking this semester? We just wrapped up our essay interviews um, for the VP of Spiritual Life for next year. Super exciting stuff to come. Um, and now I'm heading to my Engage Worship practice where we're gonna be practicing for Engage God coming up. So stay tuned. It has been a long day and I want to thank you guys so much for keeping up with this um, and watching my day today. It's been super fun doing this um, and I want to end just with a couple questions um, that you guys have been submitting. So this one is talking about study habits and making sure that I don't feel overwhelmed. Honestly, to-do list um, and making a schedule really, really helps me. Um, my like perfect week is when I, on Sunday, I look at my all my syllabus and all my assignments and I schedule everything out and so I can know exactly what I need to do. Um, also, learning to say no to things is something that has really helped me and to make sure that I can actually do the things that I need to do and to pour 100% of myself into those things. Um, so that's just something I do not to feel overwhelmed. Just stay organized, have a to-do list, um, and then make sure that when I schedule in study time that I'm actually studying. My favorite part about Southern is honestly the community that we have here on campus. I have so many friends from so many different parts of the country, so many different backgrounds. Um, I love learning about new cultures and Southern really provides that with all our culture nights that we have on campus. Um, additionally, Southern provides a really strong spiritual atmosphere. Um, and that's something that I really enjoy as working for OMM, which is the Office of Ministry and Missions. Um, being a student missionary, all of these things were cultivated because of the community and the atmosphere here on campus. And so I'm really grateful for Southern about that. Um, so yeah, that's probably, that's probably my answer, just like the community and the people here on campus. Well guys, that is it for me today um, and for today's takeover. Normally at this time when people are doing takeovers, they sign off here and they are done. Um, but this is a little different because Giving Day is continuing on until tomorrow at noon. So that means I'm also continuing the takeover until t the end of our Giving Day at noon tomorrow. So remember that today is an important day with Giving Day. It is a day that we get to come together and to support our campus. Um, and I wanted to just thank everyone for watching my takeover. And I am so excited to continue. And I will see you all in the morning tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is day two of Giving Day. Um, and we only have a few hours left. But I just want to take you through um, the rest of my day up until noon. Um, and I'll put the schedule in the next slide. I just arrived here at work. I work in the student missions office. Yesterday you guys saw me working on essay, but I also work for student missions. Um, and this is a really cool job because I was a student missionary last year in Bolivia and I got to come back and work here in the department. So I'm here now with our director and he's gonna share a little bit about why you should donate to student missions. 
well, here's why you should donate to the student missions, because every student that goes out, there's a life transformation that happens, and they never come back the same. So it is really worthwhile giving to the student missions department. I would highly encourage that. So please, we need you. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I am here with the Vice President of Student Development, Dr. Negron, um, and he has a special announcement for all of us. Hi, everyone. I'm here about to give my gift on Giving Day, day two of Giving Day, and it's less than two hours. Uh, yes, I have been delinquent. It's been a bear of two days, but I'm ready to give my gift. Um, and I'm giving my gift to the Student Scholarship Fund. Um, and the reason is, is that I want to make going to Southern affordable for as many students as possible. Um, why is that important? When I went to school way back in the 80s, um, I needed help as well. And so it's important for me to pay it forward. Okay guys, I am now here at CK2 with Ms. Kim and she has a special announcement for- Happy Thursday! You know, we are CK2 Busy Bees, but you know what? I need each of you to be a giving bee today. Happy day! We are back and we are now in the Student Association office with our social vice president, Erla, and she has an announcement for us. Don't forget to come out to convocation less than an hour and to give. Woo! Hello again, everyone. I am on my way now to Thatcher Chapel to enjoy our convocation. I'm very excited. A uh, local business owner to own 27 Ace Hardware is gonna be there. Super exciting stuff. Um, and then after our convocation, we have our grand finale at noon. You guys, if you want to see our president rappelling down Wright Hall, come out and watch. It's gonna be super exciting, super fun. Um, and so I'll see you guys all there. All right, everyone, I am here with our president, and he is about to repel off of Wright Hall. President Shaw, how do you feel? Well, Zach, I got a big smile on my face because I know a lot of donors have given to Southern Adventist University, but mm. inside I am churning because <laughs> I am scared of heights, uh, but I'm doing this for our donors. Absolutely. Well, President Shaw, as Giving Day is almost over, do you have any last things you want to say? I just want to thank all of those that made this possible. All of our academic programs, they've got projects they're working on. And you folks as donors have helped them to be able to complete their projects. So thank you so very much. Thank you. And I am excited to see you go down Wright Hall in about 30 minutes. Okay. I don't know if I'm excited or not. But, <laughs> well, I'll see you uh, down I'll there. See, I'll see you down All right. There. All right. Hello everyone, I am here with Katie, an intern in the Advancement Office, and we are so excited we're here at this finale, um, and she has some words for us today. Happy Giving Day everyone, thank you so much to all our donors, and just to everyone here at Southern, we couldn't do it without you, you make a difference, and we are better together. Better together, come on out to our finale. Drum roll, please. With 273 donors, we need an additional $6,000. The School of Nursing!
President Shaw, you did it. You repelled down the building. How do you feel now? Well, I'm still shaking a little bit, Zach. Yeah. But I did make it down. I know I'm alive. Absolutely. I praise God for that. Absolutely. And I want to thank all the donors. It's been a great giving day. Yes, sir. All right. Well, everyone, I have made it back from the finale, back to my apartment. Um, and with the end of giving day, that means the end of my takeover as well. Um, I want to thank everyone so much for watching, for following along. It has been so fun to do this takeover. Thank you so much, Southern, for asking me to do it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for everyone who donated, who participated, because together we are better. Thank you, guys.